Bet I'm on my shit when I'm on. <clears throat> so right now I'm done with my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation. And today I'm gonna try a new foundation. Uh, I did not get the name of this foundation. Hold on. All right, so I'm gonna try this new foundation that I saw on Beauty with China's channel. She tried this a long time ago, like last year maybe. I bought it when she had her cold, and I don't remember how much I paid for. I'm going to look it up, but I never put it on. I want to try it today. I want to try it with a full face in twenty, like um, all day, how the, all day wear. Now when she put it on, it was pretty. It was like so glowy and you know pretty. But today I want to try this foundation with my Julius Place like glitter, the royalty. Two by Julia's Place. It is a loose setting powder. I mean, a loose highlight. I always want to try this under my foundation. So I'm going to try that today. I'm going to put a little bit where I would normally highlight. But I'm also going to try this Michelo. It's a soft matte, long lasting liquid foundation. It's full coverage. And I got the color. It wasn't a lot of options, to be honest. Um, I got the color 109 Mocha, because I'm Mocha. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to first put on my, where I want my makeup, I mean my makeup, my <sighs> highlight. And the brush I'm going to use for my so-called highlight is my um, smudge brush from the DU Care uh, Brush 13 brush. This is what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to, it's just like... It's just like setting powder. So I'm just going to take some of it. It's really um, not that vivid, you know. When I put it on for my pictures, you don't really see it. I mean, I don't really see it. So I'm just going to put in the area I would normally highlight, which would be right here with my nose. My chin. You might not be able to see it under the uh, over the foundation. What else? Oh yeah, and right here, I don't want to put a lot. I just want to put a little bit. I don't know why I can never spread this out equally. I'm going to put a little over my bra, brow bone. I said a little, I did a lot. So you might not even be able to see that under my, uh, under the foundation. But I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, today, I'm not going to wear concealer. I'm just going to wear foundation only, just so I can test out this foundation. So, I'm going to use a foundation brush, which uh, hold on. I'm trying to tell you what my brushes are for because someone requested it and I never, I made the video, but the video was boring. So, I'm going to probably make it over. So I'm going to go in with my foundation brush. It's called the Round Foundation Brush, zero, uh, the number three brush. I'm just going to put some on here. I did try it and see if it matched my skin. So it looked like it matched really well. And don't forget to shake it up. Really good. It also tells you that in the instructions to shake it up, which you should always shake up anything. That's not coming out. So let's see. What do y'all think it's looking like? It's like it's too light. I didn't want to pick a dark color. And I didn't want to pick a light color, so I'm not that light. All right, so this is how the foundation is looking thus far. It's, I can't really see it. It looks like I'm dead. But it looks like it matches pretty good. I 
Yeah, I think I put too much on when I was um, trying to get out the bottle. So that can also be why it looks so thick on my skin. But I like it. I still like how it looks uh, very glowy. A very glowy look. But those eyebrows. <laughs> those eyebrows are everything. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my face. I got to do the bottom of my eyes. I got to put my lashes on. So let's do that. So the last thing I'm going to do is, is my blush because I almost forgot about it. But I'm sitting here watching Palette Therapy. Her video came out today and I'm watching it. <laughs> So, uh, she did her blush. I was like, oh my God, I almost forgot my blush. I forgot my blush. So, today, for today's blush, I'm going to use the Julia's Place. Uh, what is it? The Ju... I don't know. The Juju by Julia's Place. <laughs> the Zoo's... Whatever. You know. I'm going to use this pink color. Because it's like... It looks like it's really dark. And her palettes are always, always pigmented. So, I definitely wanted to show... So, I'm going to go in with this. Oh, see? It shows. <laughs> it shows. And that was just a dab or two into the uh, palette. Y'all. Now, this side is way too much because I just dabbed. I don't know. Maybe I should dab on my hand first. I keep see people do that, and I never do it. I'm going to start doing this so it won't be so much on one side. Because I'm not trying to be like a doll. But I want it to be shown. All right. Well, that highlight is definitely not showing through on my uh, foundation. Through this foundation. And which I am like really. I really like this foundation. I really do. Like it's so... It's just so, I look like a doll. I look like I'm dead with like too much makeup, but it's not too much makeup. Like on camera, it looks like I'm dead, but <laughs> uh, and like on my skin in the mirror, it looks great. I'm also going to go over my lip gloss with the Katy Perry, um, I guess it's a KPO4. What color is this? I don't know what color it is. It doesn't say what color it is, but it's like a pinkish color. Yes, I went over my lip gloss and it's still shining because this is like a matte. This is a matte um, lipstick. And that lipstick, that lip gloss that I use is from my BoxyCharm. No. It's from my eye cream box. I showed y'all that video or I haven't showed it yet, but it's from that. And it's the Melon Dollar Lips. Um, it's like, this is like a high shine lip gloss, but it's also, it feels like, um, you know, like a chapstick. So it's like, medication to my lips as well and they need some jesus i need to drink more water but this is the final look uh as far as the face um i won't put my clothes on now because it's way too early i'm just trying to wear this for a day uh i will come back to y'all so don't say that. let me tell you what time it is it is 1 13 p.m i should have been ready but i wasn't 1 13 p.m and I'll come back to y'all at the end of the day and or, you know, during the day and see if I have to blot or not. I did go over my 
uh, foundation with my sponge. What is it? Man, I lost my sponge. I don't want, oh, I didn't do my setting spray. Let me do my setting spray, which is, this one's going to do this one. It's the Pink Cloud by B. Bella. I'm going to go ahead and go over my face with this. I forgot. I actually, I need to find my, my, I guess I'll use my brush. I'm trying not to use my sponge. I just want to see how the makeup look with just a brush. It looked good, but I just wanted to go over it. It didn't make no changes. It looks just the same. So I didn't do it. It didn't make a difference. It still looks good. All right, so I will see you guys back in a little while. And so you can see how it went for the day. And today it is, um, let's see what the temperature is outside. So I'm going to go outside. I'm going to the store. Let's see. What's today's weather like? It's 73 degrees outside, partly cloudy. So, yeah. Well, I'm actually going to take some pictures outside so I can see how I look outside in the real light. You know, this is just the ring light, so it may look much, much better outside, or it may not. I don't know. I'm going to try to take some pictures without the filter as well so we can see how it looks without the filter. Also, this hair is not orange. I don't know if it looks orange to you guys, but it is red and pink. And the two colors that I used, I cannot find that container right now like where did it go i just had it uh, but i did make a video on it and that video should already be out because it's coming out today which is sunday i need to hurry up and edit, finish editing but it's supposed to be pink and orange i'm sure you see some of the pink in there and the uh, uh pink and red i'm sorry pink and red but it looks orange on camera and it looks orange uh some in some lights but it's really pink and red it looks red on uh, outside the camera, you know, in the mirror. So I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I probably come this out some more because I didn't want it to be this curly. I just wanted to have a few waves in it. But anyways, I will be back. I'm gonna keep saying that, but I keep talking. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. This is without the filter. <laughs> I feel like I look totally different, like hideous, but no, but cute. I look cute. I look cute without a filter. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to accept the fact that I look cute without a filter. The filter just make my nose look more snatched than it really is. It's not snatched at all because I did not, I did not, uh, you know, fix it or you know make it slim. I just like my regular nose. So, yeah. So it is um, 9.15 p.m. And this is how I'm looking. I did not touch up my face. I barely looked at my face today. Um, my lashes are probably coming off. Yeah, my lashes are coming off. So I guess the makeup really held up really good. And it still looks the same. From from what I see, maybe when I go back and compare, it will look different. But to me, it looks about the same. Um, on camera, it looks a lot lighter than I am. But in person, it matches pretty well. Maybe y'all see that it matches well. Or maybe you see that it's too um too bright for me. But I like the way it goes on, the glowiness, and I like that it stayed put. Uh, today was a hard day, a lot emotional day, but I made it through. And I don't know if you can tell if there's been tears on my cheek or not. I don't know. But let me see. I don't think you can tell. It's like the foundation is almost waterproof. I'm about to go wash it off though, so we'll see how long that takes. Well, I scrubbed my face, so. Um, yeah, uh, I got a lot of compliments on the all red I had on today. I have on red uh, pants also with my red shirt. I wasn't planning on wearing it. I see my red pants. 
I wasn't planning on wearing all red, but I was like rushing to get out of here. So I just put on whatever I can find. But anyways, you guys, this is the end of the video. Um, I hope that uh, you try out this makeup foundation, which is um, Micro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But they only have a few colors right now. Uh, I'm sure by the time uh, you see this video, they probably have more color. Because like I said, I had bought this in November of 2022 when China made her video. Beauty of uh, Be Beauty with China made her Beauty with China. Yeah, Beauty with China made her video. So I had bought it then with her um, cold. I don't know if it's still valid, but y'all can go check out her channel and see. Uh, you can also check out and see how her skin looks because we got two different skin tones. She's got that smooth, smooth skin, that baby skin, and I'm not saying that my skin not smooth. It's just I got moles. That's always the difference to me. I really found nobody to watch that has moles like I have moles. Everybody wants the fake moles, but they don't know the problems of these real ones. They don't know. <laughs> but anyways, thank you all for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, then you already know that you are the real MVP. Thanks for watching. Bye.